we do not have time to waste today because we're on Adam's Hollow for our monthly series where Jesse, who you're about to see in a second, gives us a box of discs. And this time he said he wouldn't be surprised if I hadn't heard of any of these discs. And it's basically my job to review discs for a living. So I'm gonna be a little impressed if he actually upholds that promise. If we haven't met before, my name is Jesse at Trash Panda, and we have this disc recycling program behind me where we've been able to recycle thousands of different discs into anything from disc dots to actual discs. But one of my favorite things about this program is that we often get unique, funky discs that I've never even heard of before. So there's this guy locally who keeps asking us to send him mystery boxes filled with such discs, and we made this agreement where I would keep sending them if he kept beating his previous score. So so this is the third edition, and I think the discs I pulled out this time are especially unique and might just give Anthony a run for his money. Got a few hours of daylight left, so I'm really excited to see what he put in this box. Don't know what he just told you, because he actually is sending me that video as I'm recording this. <laughs> Hopefully it wasn't too mean to me, you know? The first box we shot two under par, not great at Adam's Hollow. Second round we shot four under par, better, especially with these discs. And today, there's a little bit of wind out, but if we don't beat four under, I'm going to have to give away to one of you guys some trash panda discs an ice inner core which just recently came out if i can get one and swindle it from jesse i might just go to his warehouse and steal it because i know where it is don't tell him and we'll give a second person a dune because i'm feeling a little generous because i think five under baseline we should definitely be able to reach that hopefully no one gets this because that means i played well but for your sake maybe i shake a couple of these shots and he gives me the weird assist that have ever been made who knows if you guys are new to any of my boxes and birdies videos which are just a fancy way to say mystery box videos because hopefully we get some birdies what will always end up happening is i'll take the box and we'll play from the box so i can't see what's underneath anything i just reach in to got the first disc have to throw it on whatever hole we're on but that's only off the tee after that, we can throw whatever we want to that we've already taken out of the box, and we can putt with my own putting putters, which I'm still trying to figure out, which is why I have all these putters down here. But once we draw a one, two, or three speed, no matter what it is, we have to putt with it. Headwind to get started with the day, 317, straight ahead. Now that I've sufficiently shanked five out of my six warm-ups, let's see what our first disc is in the box. Is it gonna be a putter? Oh, he didn't give me a putter first, so I can actually choose a putter. It is... Eh. I guess you can't really hear something if you don't know. Oh no! This guy's a little dimple on it there. Um, it looks like it's gonna be overstable on this side and under more understable on this side. And I, I, there's nothing on this. This one we're gonna call the clear mystery. So the clear mystery, I think we could take the big hyzer. I just hope it's not too flippy. But I think, oh it's flippy. Oh my, what? That was more frippy than I expected. I feel like I'll be able to throw that thing far. And maybe I shouldn't have tried the hyzer line. That's kind of the cop out line. But I also hit like my lower chest as I was pulling through. And it's still, even though it took out some speed, like almost turned over on a like super high hyzer line. Very surprising. So, so far Jesse's up 1-0 in terms of this side do or do no. We're gonna be testing out the myth, which is a little bit deeper. I think it's kind of almost like a whale from Innova in a tomb to putt with. I putted really well in my banana frog video I just filmed with a tomb like disc, so I want to try it out, but this is far. Oh man! Tomb gang? No. Second disc, coming up. Got a mid, uh, 530 foot par four. Well, I've definitely heard of this one. This is just rude. Why would you give this to me? It's broken! We'll see how this flies. It is a completely broken X buzz. I had not heard of an X buzz before. I mean, it's a buzz. I'm taking it. I feel like I'm gonna, I genuinely feel like I'm gonna break this disc. I feel like it's gonna be more understable because of the weird base plastic. And what is this combo so far? Is this like the broken video? I'm guessing it's gonna flip, but this might cause too much like drag. I don't know how that'll work. Okay, it held it pretty straight. Don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break. Not mad about it. Oh, I didn't turn it. I just hyzer flipped it. Clear mystery there. It's got an interesting flight. Doesn't flip immediately out of the hand, and then it flips really fast, and then it stabilizes. That's like what happened both of these times, which has been surprising and something I've never experienced before. I don't know if we're gonna be throwing it much again, but it's. I want to throw it just to like figure it out because it's got that weird little puddle top. Like when it flipped as fast as it did after, it like came out of my hand a little slow, and then it flipped so fast I was like, oh, it's definitely gonna roll over, and then maybe cast some stability. But it caught the stability way faster than I expected. Oh wow, got stable on me. Sit down. That this is surprising. 
I really think it flipped more. These are the ones that you know you have to make every time. But that means it's in your head. Shouldn't have said anything. Honestly, to get five down, back, we can, as long as we get a decent enough putter and a decent enough fairway, we can 100% get five down on the back. So I'm not super worried about it, but that's a gimme. Especially from 130 foot of an upshot. Hey, we gotta get that out of our head. It's gonna be 295 feet. You can throw a straight putter. I like to kind of flick a forehand at it. We might be able to, ooh, 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 hmm? I don't know this. Looks flippy. Golf disc try, I'm sorry if that was all out of focus. 165 grams, and the profile already kind of seems, oh, what, I didn't even see that. I didn't see that until I held it up. How crazy warped it is. Oh, it's so flippy. Hit something. Oh, wow, that is so much flippier than I expected. I didn't realize I got the name wrong of this. It's not the clear mystery. It's still woo. -woo. We'll see if we throw it anymore. I'll try this one more time. And then we might have to go to Tombs. Try them out. No. The biggest problem is when I was warming up putting, I was feeling real good. So this is for five. I'm really sorry you had to miss that. But the next disc, also one for three on disc. Oh no, this is a 430 foot hole. And this, how can you hear of a disc when it doesn't even say what the disc is ever? This feels like a lot of flashing and super, super thin rim. Oh no, not flashing, just inside of the rim. Maybe you can see that there. There's like grooves. It's also kind of crazy. Look how warped that thing looks just right there. Doesn't feel terrible, but it feels like it's gonna wanna flip a lot. So we might have to lay down a roller fast. I can't believe I'm three over through three. If you had told me that I would be three over through three at Adam's Hollow, I would. <laughs> okay, went around that tree gap. Yeah, flip. Oh, it slowed down too much. This thing was honestly a bit straighter than I expected. I thought it would flip faster. Try a forehand again. I know the last video in this series was the crazy one where my camera died, I thought I had batteries, I didn't, I had to use my phone. This is crazy for a whole different reason. A worse reason, my play. We're golden. Unstoppable. We're getting five down, guaranteed. All right, we're going into a headwind. We need a stable driver. It's 415 feet all the way down there. And oh, it's a driver, oh, it's not stable. Lightweight golf disc, easy to throw. Gateway discs, Apache. I feel like I've heard of the Apache, but I can't guarantee that I have, so I'm giving this one to Jesse as well. Feels like it's 20 grams, so can't even really roll anything because of that. Well, we might actually be able to throw a massive hyzer flip that turns into a roller past that. <laughs> what the? What are, what? I'm literally going to insane. My rule typically in videos where you're not throwing or using putters is typically if it's a putting motion, you can use it. This one, I feel like I could jump putt, but it's not, I wouldn't be thinking I'm making it. So it might be a little bit dangerous. Ah, good shot, get up. This thing should not be as stable as it was. Like, what is that? If we can get back to even par, we got a good shot at shooting five down. I mean, it's technically possible to shoot nine down or eight down on the back nine, and there is an eagle opportunity. I'm just trying to get three of these next four and then reevaluate after nine holes once we see the landscape of all the discs that we're working with. Next disc, we got a putter. Jesse is now, what's this whole six? Five and one. Rec Tech putter. It says 170 grams. It does not feel like it's 170 grams. 2014 East Point Sports Limited. Puddle top, it feels very shallow. Jesse's definitely screwing me a bit with this order because this is a 332 foot hole. We're gonna have to get lucky through some trees because I imagine this thing's gonna flip hard. Yeah, it did. We'll have a long putt and now we got a putter. Now we'll say what this will tell me if I do putt well with this thing is beadless. It's the way to go. Oh my gosh, that thing is so flippy. I give that so much time to finish. Good height though, good release. 355, straight ahead. It's kind of perched. You want to throw like a forehand into the hillside, maybe a big turnover that just always stays turning. It's obviously gonna be very disc dependent and we have, oh, it's like a mid driver feel. Someone's name on it, it says 178. X out yellow, huh, two flyer. I've never heard of this one either. Dang it. Long raid straight driver. 
maybe back in the day. PGA approved from lightning discs. I'm kind of pumped about it. It has like, oh, maybe the other one is a lightning disc as well. The like one that I rolled because this one has that weird like grooviness on the inside as well. Oh, we are not fine. That's so flippy. Where is that even gonna go? I have a feeling I'm not winning today. I don't think technically that path is OB. I'm not playing as OB. You can't tell me what to do. Mm. It looked more overstable than that. Honestly, this one, I'm just trying to get back under par and save my sanity. We might have to get everything. I honestly think this will be pretty good upshot this. Golf this triumph. Oh, not that flippy though. Oh, bad sign for the beat of putters right there. So on most courses here in the Denver area, I find that one of them is my nemesis hole. This is it on this course. Hole eight, 300 straight ahead, two left. Jesse is six and one. Oh, I've heard of this one. Good, six and two. Elite extreme, very overstable driver, but this is like stupid gummy. But I don't trust that this one will be so overstable, so I don't trust the forehand necessarily, but I think we're gonna have to. Don't think about it, just execute. What are you? Sorry, I had to see that. That is so OB. It was so clean out of my hand too. I was like, oh, this is perfect. And then it just held the whole way. So I am 99% sure that that is my disc out there. It looks pretty solid, not gonna lie. And there are footsteps on it. And I'm sorry, Jesse, but I'm not risking my safety to go grab that disc. Maybe you can walk on it. Maybe it is safe. Maybe someone can come grab it and return it to the recycle disc program. Or they can recycle themselves. I don't know. I feel really bad. Sorry whoever recycled that disc. But I had one last beautiful, gorgeous flight that was nowhere near the basket. Four over. We have 10 holes left. So we can miss one more of them with no eagles and get to our number. It's gonna be, oh, the Divergent Basilisk. So I've heard of this one as well. So we went, I knew three. Jesse got me on six of them. Very flippy, rubbery. This was a hard one, man. This was so hard. I feel so bad that that's out there. Like, I really think I should just go get it. And maybe it is safe, but I don't know that it's safe, so it's gonna be bad if I go out there. So I'm not gonna, I'll see if I can FaceTime Jesse and see if he tells me what to do. He's gonna ghost me. He always ghosts me. He never, he never picks up the phone. He hates me so much. It's 4.50, what are you even doing? It's still the work day. Like, wh why would you not pick up my phone? This is ridiculous. Jesse. 10 holes, we probably got like 30 minutes of light. Let's rip it. Not that flippy. Oh my gosh. It's good to have some videos like this, man. Holy cow. I'll leave my ring around to see if he calls back. Oh, man, not even close. Ow. Every single hole or miss one in Eagle 18. Probably lightning disc something. That's how you play it. Super comfortable grip. Still a chance. You're probably foot faulted anyways. Who cares? Oh, go to your home. We're trying the Apache. This thing was nice. It was far, dude. Holy cow. Now nah, there's no chance. Four over. We have not got a single bird yet. I just realized that. We got two projects left in this video. Project number one, get a single freaking birdie. Project two, get back to even or under par. Please, oh please, oh, let me shoot over par here. We're trying out the ultra long range driver again. How flippy of a disc can you be? I, didn't, I thought there was a limit. There's not, apparently. Come on, birdie. No, I thought that was a lot shorter. Straight ahead. 350, I think. I really wanna try the Basilisk. Oh, we're gonna try the Basilisk, actually. Since this round doesn't really matter for scoring that much, we're gonna go over the trees. This thing is so flippy. Oh my. Same question as the last hole. How can you not travel 200 feet on Heiser? Or 100 feet? I'm gonna try the Apache on the same line. Oh, Smackdown. That thing is sick. I like that disc a lot. I threw that like this. At least I felt like it, like 15, 20 degrees of hyzer. And it, it rolled before it got to these trees. 
which are like halfway to the basket. <laughs> if this video is titled, Dear Jesse, I Hate You, I hope you understand why. Not like I didn't ask for this, but I hope you understand. We're just gonna try to throw, again, dangerous for the, zone, for the buzz, but we're gonna try to throw this thing in. <sighs> oh, flipped it a bit. That was kind of surprising. No bogeys today, right guys? And with that being hole 13, if we get all these, we can get under par. Really just want to get back to even, but we can get under par somehow. I almost wonder if that Apache is the first flying thing in this bag. <laughs> the best of this might roll the farther. No, it's too flippy. Just dead ahead. Nothing else has any stability here, really. It's just this, the Apache, and <sighs> maybe that lightning disc driver, the green one. Hit the tree and sit. Yeah, hopefully it didn't break. I'm too lazy to bring the camera over. You're sitting by the next tee pad. Oh my. No, the least spinny, least Anheuser-y, Anheuser put over a branch. Maybe this ever been putted in the history of disc golf. We're gonna throw the golf disc triumph, 165 grams. Dang, too swoopy. We're not even gonna worry about putters. We're just gonna not think and just throw in the basket for birdie. Hell of course, we finally got a birdie. Three holes left, it's still possible. 560 something feet, way down there, maybe 600. I don't really know. I kinda wanna see if I can roll the basilisk down there. I think it'll flip too fast. So, we're just gonna try to rip on the woo woo. You can definitely see that, cause I can definitely see that. So, glad we were both able to see that disc. Oh, it's actually smashed. It's probably my best drive on this. Ah, uh, almost my best drive on this hole, but we're really close. I'm playing No Think Golf. That's the name of the game right now. I got, I've been overthinking all these discs. We can get the next one. And if we eagle play team for the first time ever, we don't have to shoot not under par. Oh, too long. Remember the rules. You must never think. I don't know why it works, but it does. It's really stupid. Wish it worked in tournaments. And I shank them all over the place. That's not super respectable for me out here, but for the sake of this video, I'm gonna lie to myself and say that that's respectable for me, you know? You gotta find self-confidence somewhere. Sometimes it's lying. That's bad advice, don't take that. Classic hole 18. Still yet to eagle it. 500 feet, dead ahead. The ground up there kind of sucks. This, I think, went about 430 maybe on that line. I don't think is enough. Maybe that's a bit farther. I don't really know. Ooh, that got right in my mouth. <sighs> hold, 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 hold. Fight out, fight out, fight out, fight out, fight out. We skipped up right to the base of the hill. That was a smash, dude. That's sick. Oh, that's such a good angle. The woo didn't go as far as the made in China from the last video. This sounds so stupid that I'm saying this. <laughs> but we have like a legit equal chance here. Should I no think or should I think? I don't know. Honestly, that's already probably too much thinking. Well, let's just eagle this thing and get under par. I should have thought. I'd rather try to do the whole. No thinkerson. I didn't want my. I didn't want the woo to get my first eagle on this hole. Anyways, I definitely don't want that to happen. Good thing it's gonna be a really easy birdie butt. What? Looks like thinking or no thinking. Some people are just bad. Thanks for watching. Sorry, this was a train wreck. That was a fun train wreck, though. Let's be honest. I was gonna say be nicer, Jesse, but that's not the point of this. I just need to do better. You know, look inside. Don't blame other people. But I hate Jesse. Bye.